Welcome to The Missionary Heart, a programme that looks at the latest sustainable development ideas. I'm Harriet and I'm on a gap year programme with the NGO Hands On Help For The Poor and I'm based out here in The Missionary Hut. In this episode, we will be looking at an eco-friendly superstar, the pot in a pot fridge. This DIY fridge will help those in the poorest parts of the world to preserve their food for days, even weeks. Taking the sustainability market by storm, it's a great substitute for expensive electric and gas refrigerators and those unnecessary white goods which just don't fit in out here. This is appropriate technology at its best. I know you'll love this, this is so cool. Back in the UK, a sustainable living advice group are going to show us how we can all make one. Hello and welcome to Sustainable Living Made Easy with me, your host, the Sustainable Living Advice Guru, otherwise known as The Slag. Now today we're going to make this pot in a pot refrigerator a giant leap in food preservation for those lucky enough to live without those nasty modern day fridges. Now this pot fridge is for everyone, but it's especially good for the Africans. I mean, let's face it, they much prefer to live without electricity. I mean, it's a part of their culture, isn't it? And also, if we're going to save the planet, we don't need one either, do we? So this organic, self-help, sustainable, eco-friendly fridge apes mummy nature. It's truly revolutionary, just what the Africans need, and we can have one too. So now, what you need to make your pot fridge is one large pot and one small pot, clay or terracotta. In Africa, you can make these using some clay, water and the sun. Over here, you can buy them in B&Q or home base or a local garden centre. You need to make sure that your smaller pot fits inside your larger pot, leaving some space around the sides. You also need some water handy. I've got mine here in my nice flowery jug and you need a cloth. I've got a nice one here. And as I always say, don't forget health and safety. You can never be too sure and you can never be too safe. So you need some glasses. Just in case you get some sand in your eyes, you wouldn't want that, would you? And your helmet, just in case you bang your head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my sand and I'm going to fill the base of my larger pot with sand. Just keep filling the pot, the larger pot, with sand until it reaches a height that will ensure that when you place the smaller pot in the larger pot, it will be even in height. Once you think you've got enough sand in there, just pat it down a little bit and place your smaller pot on top of the sand base like that. And we're going to start filling the sides of the pot with sand. Make sure everything is covered. Now, once you've got your sand in the pot, get your jug of water and start pouring it over the sand, like I'm doing now. It's like watering your plants in the garden. Aping mummy nature is always so soothing and so relaxing. Just keep pouring the water in until you feel that your sand is sufficiently moistened. Take a cloth and dip it into some water. I like to put rose petals in mine or a fragrant tropical flower. Again, it's just more soothing, you see. Oh, that does smell lovely. You dip your cloth in there. And place your wet perfume cloth over the inner pot and cover it completely, like I'm doing now. There we go, and there you have your natural eco fridge and you're ready to put your organic veggies and your yummies in there. Now, you do need to keep checking your goodies regularly and you do need to make sure that you top up the sand with water regularly. In the tropical weather, you need to do this twice a day, otherwise your refrigerator just won't work. Soothing little job, I would say. I use this all the time. Gonna pop my shopping in there, and we'll check back in an hour or so. There we go. 
Ah, oh, look what we have here. This is the shopping I popped in there earlier. Beautifully chilled chocolates. And the Bacardi Breezer doesn't even need ice. Beautifully cool food. I call this my potty yum yum fridge. It's an organic African heaven and it's so cool. Well, that's it for this week. Chill out and stay cool. Cheers, guys. Out here in the Missionary Hut as Gap Year volunteers, we are training and really empowering local people by showing them how to make their own eco-fridge. We're helping people to help themselves. Isn't that heartwarming? Well, unfortunately, that's all we have time for now, but please do join us next time on the Missionary Hut for more on the latest and best sustainable development ideas. I'm Harriet Belwood-Howard, sending you wonderful people out there love from the Missionary Hut. Ciao.